Hey, this is Arch here at C4 Defense, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new dissipator from Anderson Manufacturing. Let's go ahead, put a few on steel. I like it. The dissipator rifle was originally developed in the early 1960s for use by the U.S. military in Vietnam. The shorter barrel allowed for the rifle to be maneuvered more easily in close quarters combat, while the rifle length gas system provided more reliability and accuracy than the shorter carbine length gas system. The dissipator rifle fell out of favor with the military in the late 1960s, but it has seen a resurgence in popularity among civilian shooters in the recent years. This is due in part to the dissipator rifle's unique appearance, as well as its combination of accuracy, reliability, and maneuverability. There you go. There is the Anderson Arms AM-15 dissipator rifle length gas system. Let's go ahead and check it out a little bit closer. All right, now let's take a closer look at this Dissipator AM-15 from Anderson Manufacturing. As you can tell, this is based off the classic Dissipator of the 1960s. It has the A2 fixed rifle stock, flat top rail, and the classic clamshell handguard with a fixed front sight. Uh, it has some other features there that, you know, we're all familiar with and it has your sling mounts both front and rear and it has your typical controls that you would expect it has a uh, forward assist the mil spec mag release dust cover um, typical fire safe fire safety switch bolt release it has a nice crisp trigger They've done a good job on the trigger on this and the A2 grip. As far as the rear sight, you can see it has an embus, a Magpul embus rear sight combined with the front sight post and that long sight radius of the dissipator versus like a carbine really helps out if you're going to shoot iron sights. But with the flat top, we can add anything we want to. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you'll see where we, uh, we might add something to this. So let's go into some of the particulars of it. As you could have guessed, this is chambered in 5.56. It has a 16 inch barrel. And like I said, the rifle length gas system. A lot of the dissipators that you see are gonna be mid length gas system with actually a fake front sight gas block out here. Not this one. This one is full length. This is rifle length. And like I said, it's got the rifle buffer in it. So it's definitely a different shooting experience than a lot of the other dissipators you might've seen. Um, the upper receiver is 775 T6 aluminum, as is the lower receiver. And they are both type three hard anodized. And that 16 inch barrel has a one and eight twist. This whole rifle weighs about 6.8 pounds. It's pretty light and it's uh, definitely maneuverable. As you can see, it's got the standard A2 flash hider. It's half inch by 28 thread, so you can swap that out to whatever else you'd like to. Um, the old A2 grip, and this is, like I said, it is just a classic gun, but enough talking about it. Let's get out there and shoot it. Let's go ahead and put a few rounds in the stock mag see how it runs yeah there we go this uh that rifle length gas system is super smooth it slows down everything just a little bit and it uh it really adds to the the mystique of shooting one of these but you know the magpul rear sight is fine but if we're going to have something like this why wouldn't we go ahead and do something like this 
Now, if you're gonna have something like this, why not run an old school Colt mag and the ACOG, well, FACOG off Amazon. So let's go ahead and, you know what? I ought to go ahead and paint those targets so they look pretty good. There we go. We added a little bit of red paint to those targets so we can see if we're on target with the, the fake hog and I'll have a whole review on that at another time. So, oh, I want to take it off safe. At least you know the safety works. Let's see if we can get that little one. Oh yeah, let's see if we can get the other one. Okay, so it likes the old school metal mags. Let's see if this thing likes the the little P mags. Um, one thing I was gonna say is this full length. the The stock is longer than like so, you know like a carbine, if the, what you might be used to. So it does have a little bit different length of pull. And I wish I could get this optic back just a little bit further, but you know that is what it is. It's the optic. It's not the gun. Um, but it runs really good. It's these are the first shots out of it. It is smooth as can be. It's uh, the rifle length, like I said, it slows it down just a little bit. It's not quite as punchy as say like a, a carbine or your know, mid length is pretty smooth, but rifle is really smooth. So let's go ahead. We'll run some through it with the, with the P mag. See how it does. just rips right through them I mean I like it I like it a lot and it's uh it's got such a nostalgic look to it I've got one more of the old school Colt mag so let's go ahead we'll run that through there and uh finish up let's get that little one. Oh yeah You know, I say I'd like to move that back, but I'm getting used to it pretty well. Um, this thing is such fun. It looks so good. It is, I think MSRP on this is going to be very affordable. One of those classic sites, I'm sure you guys can uh, do a quick little search and figure that out. Um, but yeah, it's got all the features and nostalgia of a classic dissipator runs fantastic runs on all the mags it is definitely one that you need to pick up this is uh this is definitely a keeper so we'll see you on the range